Hello and welcome to Survivor Chat. I'm your host. Are you just going to sleep while I keep you alive? We had another episode of Survivor, and i got to say, after two episodes, I'm into it. I think I think they've done a good job with casting. I like what's going on so far. One complaint, and I'll get to that later on. But let's just get started with the recap. Uh, before I do, though, hey, subscribe to this channel. little button right there says subscribe. Uh, tell a friend. Share it. Hit thumbs up if you like Survivor. We also do a Survivor Roundtable on Thursday night. Uh, seems to be pretty popular, but you know, watch the whole video. You might, you might, you might hear something you didn't think of, or maybe not. You know. Anyway, let's hit in the comment section what what you like, what you don't like, and we'll go on from there. Uh, anyway, we come back, and Aaron is upset. He was excluded from the vote. I get it. You know, it's the first time. It's the first vote, and you're kind of you're right on the outs. But I don't think he handled it right. He's he's mad. He's frustrated. He's oh, I don't want to talk about it, you guys. I don't trust you. I can't trust any of you. Dude, just say, this is how you just do it. Go, hey, next time, just include me in the vote. I didn't know. That's all you had to do. You can trust me. I'm a team player. I want this tribe to do well. But he didn't. He just went on and on and on and on and on. You know, I don't know if it's going to come back to bite him later on. But as of now, I see him being on the outside of the group because you, you, you just can't come back. When you're already on the outside, you can't throw a fit like that. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work anywhere in the world. Uh, we have Nora is compl at the other campus complaining, and she is just going on and on and on. And at first I thought, well, hey, maybe that's just how you know you wake up and sometimes you wake up on the wrong side of the uh, bamboo or something like that. I don't know, but she just seems like that's her personality. She said later on that I think that's just her person. You know, I think that's who she is. But to win this game, you have to get along with people. You have you have to make you know you have to you're going to need their votes. Um, could she make? Can she win? I don't know. It's early, too early to tell. Maybe she changes her ways. Maybe she adapts. We'll see. But as of now, no. Uh, Chelsea's looking for firewood and finds an idol. Ugh. I was kind of really hoping that they would just be at the uh, island of the idols. That they would get the idols there. I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm you heard me complain about it last year. I know a lot of people think I'm just. I'm just a complainer. Which I am, but I think that they should be earned, not just found. I mean, just this. I, 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 I wish Survivor would stop that. I just wish they would stop it. Just, but it is what it is. The show's successful. Who am I? Uh, the Kelly ends up having to go to uh, Island of the Idols. She meets Rob and, uh, and uh, Sandra, and she's having this talk, this long conversation. And I, I figured out pretty early that because they were so so talkative, that it was going to be some kind of memory type thing. Uh, she doesn't think she can do it. She's going back and forth. Rob gives her uh, the first original deal was answering f five questions. You get five questions. You have to answer four correctly, and you get an idol for two. You get your idols for two uh, tribal councils. Uh, Rob makes another deal with her. Says three questions, and you get for three tribal councils. I, I, so I, 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 I would have probably taken the two, but she did the right thing. I don't know if she was planning that, but it worked out best for. Her. Uh, she got all three questions right. She comes back to her tribe. She's like, oh, my God, you know. Blah, blah. And Dan's the first one to greet her, and he's, you know, anyway. Um, but she lied. Again, she lied about who's, why are we, I, I don't get why we're lying about who's over there. It's going to come out. I mean, I, I can't imagine the next nine people going over there are going to say, oh, I had the urn, I hit the urn, you know, I didn't win and everything. I do give her credit for hiding the the idol in her hair i you know obviously i don't have hair so that wouldn't work for me i think she did a great job said look i don't have the idol i fantastic job it was in her hair i mean but i just don't get the lying about who because it's a big deal it's, it's going to come out that they're over there but we'll find out i you know i've been wrong before and we'll, we'll find out i could be wrong again uh during the challenge uh it's going back and forth uh but what cracked me up was Chelsea takes the the balls and just throws it. And I go, what is she doing? Why, why wouldn't you just carry it back down the ladder? And it didn't, in the end, it didn't hurt them, but they had trouble finding, they had a substantial lead. They couldn't find the balls. The balls are floating everywhere. The ball, the bag is, they finally find it and get it going, and they, they win by one. But it could have been costly. I, I don't understand why she tossed it the way she did. I, I to me, just climb back down the ladder. The bag couldn't have been that heavy. But who knows? Uh, we go back and forth, and there's an alliance of three, and they pretty much... I, I, I've never seen three people, when there's still nine or ten people in a group, thinking they have a strong alliance. Oh, we're just going to take a nap. 
You know, we we're, we got this game one. I didn't get that because it, you're only three. And they turned it around. We had an interesting tribal. Uh, Jason's trying to make a, a case for himself, and he's going back and forth. Uh, Nora said some stuff. I thought she would try to fuse it, but she basically confirmed that's who she is. I mean, I guess she's being honest and truthful. Um, but in this game, you can't always be honest and truthful. Going back and forth, the the editors did a great job. I was, you know, because of Molly's name it was brought up. But I'm thinking, oh, okay, it's probably going to be Jason or Nora. But it turned out uh, Molly was blindsided, so and she was really she was really blindsided. I guess they were worried about that she just gets along with everybody. They were calling her poverty part two, uh, and you never want to be labeled with one of the survivors that have a, a niche that that takes them far in the game. And if she was, you know, she they did a great job, and I think it was a good move. I think she could have gone far in the game. But they, they took her legs out from under her and blindsided her, and that's what we have. And and now we'll come back to next week for another episode. But uh, I'm, again, really enjoying this. I, I like what I'm seeing, and hopefully it keeps going. I just wish. I mean, put it in the comment section, and we'll, we'll talk about it next week. Do you like the fact that the idols are just laying around and just anybody can find them? I, I think you have. It's, it's such an important part of the game. I think you should have to earn it. Now, you should earn it where people don't know you have it. I've always been a big believer you don't tell people you have an idol. And the two people that have idols right now have not told anybody, which I think is great because you it, it just it just sets yourself up to put a target on your back. But we'll see what happens. Again, we're here every th uh, Wednesday, and then we have the, the round table on Thursday night. Check us out. Subscribe. Tell a friend. I'm out of here. Bye, everybody.